The next practical which you can get in your exam is effect of two successive stimuli on simple muscle curve. Here we have study what is the effect of two successive stimuli. Here we have made a arrangement in such a way that the first stimulus is given and second stimulus is being given in the different phases of the first curve. So here we can see this is first stimulus S1 and we obtain the curve. Here in this practical we have given supra maximal or maximal stimuli. Why? Because we are not going to study the effect of strength of stimulus. Here we are going to study the summation of stimuli. So we have to give a stimulus of similar strength. So for that better is to use supra maximal stimuli. So here in second curve we can see this is first stimulus and this is second stimulus. Here the second stimulus falls after the relaxation phase of the first curve is complete. Okay, so after relaxation is complete, then the second stimulus is being given. So we can see height of the curve increases, although the strength of the stimulus was same. So now why height of the curve is increasing? This height of the curve is increasing because of beneficial effect. Now what is beneficial effect? Beneficial effect is the increased force of contraction in the subsequent stimuli which are getting benefit from the previous stimulus. Now what are the causes of beneficial effect? Here the beneficial effect is occurring because of increased accumulation of the calcium ion which were occurring in the previous stimulus. So usually during contraction the calcium ion come outside of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and after the contraction is over they go inside the sarcoplasmic reticulum. But the, the time when they enter inside the sarcoplasmic reticulum is more. So if we give subsequent stimulus uh, immediately after the first stimuli, these calcium ion will not be able to go inside and some of them will be accumulated in the sarcoplasm. Now during the second stimulus, more number of calcium ions are coming outside the sarcoplasm and here now more number of calcium ions are available for the contraction to occur. So because of that more, more forceful contraction is occurring. And also there is one more factor that is temperature. So there is increased temperature because of previous stimuli leads to increased enzymatic activity. Increased enzymatic activity leads to the increased metabolic activity. So that also leads to the more forceful contraction. Another thing may be that increased temperature leads to the decreased viscosity of the media around the actin and myosin. So decreased viscosity means decreased resistance. So because of that now actin and myosin will contract more forcefully. So that also leads to the beneficial effect. So here we can see the height of the second curve is much more than the first curve. Here in third curve we can see that uh, that stimulus is being given in the relaxation phase of the first one. So we can see M shaped curve is obtained. First peak is because of first stimulus, second peak is because of second stimulus but height of the second peak is more than the first and that is again because of beneficial effect. Now here we can see the two stimuli are being given. First this is the first stimulus, this is second stimulus, second stimulus falls on the contraction phase of the first. So here we could see a kink in the contraction phase. Again the height of curve is more than the basic curve okay here we can see this is first stimulus and this is second stimulus which is falling on the latent phase of the first later part of the latent phase of the first stimulus and we obtain the curve again height of the curve is more than the basic curve so again this is because of summation of the waves summation of the waves so here you can see this was the first stimulus the wave was obtained the second stimulus falls in the initial part of the latent period. Now we can see the height of the wave is similar to that of the original wave. Okay, so why height of the wave is similar to the original wave or why the summation could not occur here? Here there is summation, here there is summation of waves, there there was summation of waves but in this curve there is no summation of wave. Why? Because for that we need to look at the electrical phenomena which is occurring before the mechanical phenomena. So this is the action potential which is occurring because of first stimulus. So this is the action potential which is occurring in the first stimulus and this much. 
this much period is the absolute refractory period of the first stimuli first stimulus so if we give any any stimulus second stimulus during this absolute refractory period we will not get any response okay but this is the relative refractory period this one is relative refractory period so if we'll give any any um, stimulus in this period we may get response like we obtained the response in this one where the second stimulus was given in the later part of the latent phase so this is about the summation of waves now your examiner may ask you is this uh, summation of effect or summation of stimulus so here this is the summation of effect because in all these curves we have used supra maximal stimuli so there cannot be summation of stimuli suppose if we are giving sub threshold first first stimulus is sub threshold so we will not get any response second stimulus is also sub threshold okay and that is being given in the initial part of the latent phase we may get response two stimuli both are sub threshold but stimuli uh, but the response may be obtained this is known as summation of stimuli but here all these curves are showing the summation of effect means summation of the mechanical activity there summation of stimulus is summation of the electrical activity so here this is uh, summation of effect or summation of contraction now your examiner may ask you what is what is wave summation and what is quantal summation wave summation and quantal summation quantal summation so in wave summation the contraction waves passes from the same number of mechanical fibers but there is increase increase force of contraction because of summation effect uh, in quantal summation more number of muscle fibers are being involved in the second stimulus so that is known as quantal summation so in wave summation summation there is same number of muscle fibers in quantal summation second second stimulus involves the more number of muscle fibers so this is difference between the quantal and wave summation so this is all about this practical and viva questions related to this practical